in before I turn the microphone off. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, Base Collar here, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another GT Sport live stream on a Monday, hope you're all well. Hope you had a fantastic uh, Monday so far, it's not been a, well, first day of the week in it. So I would say fantastic week, but it's only a Monday in it. Hope you had a good weekend, there you go, how about that? I missed out on the bloody F1 to go watch the bloody football and we've lost 1-0. What a waste of time that was. Yeah, terrible decision by myself, but you got a season ticket, I wanted to make most of it. And I thought, it's only the Russian Grand Prix, right? Who cares? It's only Russian Grand Prix. It's only rubbish ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, that turned out to be a great decision. 
in the end. No, that was um, great. Anyways, Daily Race C. Let's crack on with it. Um, not too worried about Daily Race B, um, to be honest with you. It's, um, what was it? Um, Suzuka, Group 4. But like the really short version. Uh, seven laps, no tyre wear. Eh, not really interested, to be honest. You could do a few races there, but nothing that really tickles one's pickle, shall we say. But uh, yeah, I keep forgetting I'll put my mouse down here. All right then, thanks everyone for joining me. Yeah, I'm going to do trucks at Bathurst. Yeah, 100%, Brian. Oh, 100%. That's happening. Hello, Espen. Hello, everyone. Uh, we'll start on P6 for this one. See what we can do. I feel like I've instantly made a mistake by using the Supra. No one else is using it. Haha, <laughs> Daniel, come on. I laugh, but I'm also crying inside. <laughs> we know why you have that shirt on Lando, yeah. Sad times. I didn't realise how bad it was till I got home, you know. I really didn't realise how bad it was till I got home. Not good, man. Yeah. Yeah, I seem to have messed up with my choice of car. It looks like everyone else has kind of gone for a car that's... Uh, all the cars here are pretty much good on tyre wear, apart from mine. It seems, so... <laughs> What's the strat then, boys and girls? Let me know. What are we doing? We start on me. I assume we start on mediums, then go softs, baby. Uh, that that's what I I'm gonna assume we're gonna do. Mediums, mediums for uh, six, soft six. What's the um, what's the strat? What's the strat, people? In six six. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Baz. Uh, six six is the way to go. Then that is what this is what we shall do. Hello, Vic Nick. How's it going, mate? Yes, yeah, so my qualifying time. Uh, what do I do? A 35.8. Uh, Optimal's a 35.7, but my days of like kind of chasing top 10 times are kind of over. Not too interested anymore. Nice cow. Good to hear, mate. Sounds like a good day at work, mate. That. Rank 14 in here, by the way. Rank 14. No. Lots of people not setting times. Is there a reason? Is there, uh, chat, is there a reason why no one sets times anymore? Only the top ten have set times in this. What's, what's, what's the dealio? What's, what's going on there? You know? Rolling start, of course. <laughs> no, pick me, go away. Hey, Phil. No idea. I'm gonna. Mm, I'm gonna go minus one. Well, I don't know. Hello, Benoit. I might all be streaming. Do you think Gran Turismo has just turned into like a streamer's game? Like, you only play Gran Turismo to be streaming. Do you think it's one of them now? Let's move up the inside there. Caught me off guard. Assumption, by the way, chat. No fuel saving, though. I tried to do uh, qualifying in a Lamborghini and I just couldn't. I just, I just hate that car in this game. Never quite get it right. Hey Andrew, how's it going mate? Former PX cam. This guy's gonna have me, I can't do anything here. 
always push me along. Louis, you're legend. Tad late on the right set. Managed one second off the top ten. Nice, man. Good stuff. Tricky to get a good time here. Track limits are a massive pain in the behind. Oh, the other steer is pretty bad. been yeeted and then there's a dive bomb is Andrew I can see the um, tie is pretty bad already I can see why people aren't choosing the super a bit more lively, isn't she? Oh well, I'm free in terms of slipstream now. Pretty confident as well. Last week when I did daily races or two weeks ago, it was these, it was these five that were uh, finding it out for a win. It's not really changing that aspect. Hey, Infinite. Cheers, buddy. So, everyone in chat, then, how have you been getting on with this week's races? Real mix-up. I think this week. It's good to see something different. Uh, I wasn't expecting Group for it, Fuji. But, you know, it's got some of the main ingredients I think I needed for a good daily race C. Different strat. Um, group three, well-known track. You can see me struggling after this lap of this thing. I feel she's getting a bit more lively. Is that Kai? Sorry, sorry if I've uh, pronounced your name wrong there, my guy. I'm good, my friend. Thanks for joining. Work scrappy. I know fuel problem. Oh, the fuel problem. Right. So I went. So if anyone doesn't live in the UK, right? I live about three hours from St Mary's, which is my football team's home ground, right? So I have to travel about three hours to um, basically. Oh. I've completely missed... Oh, I've, I've read the wrong uh, board there. That's an F. That is an F. Wow, that's a massive F. Wow, I'm with everyone. Ha! <laughs> uh, it's just warm-up race, right? Anyways, uh, yeah. So I have to travel three hours, right? So I filled my car up before all this fuel stuff happened in the UK. So if you don't know, uh, in the UK, we've got a fuel shortage. or saying, well, we don't. It's just everyone's panic buying because the UK's full of idiots. And... Um, yeah. So there's a massive fuel shortage as such. So the amount of petrol stations I went by on the way down and the way up, just saying they had no fuel was um, pretty insane. Um, yeah, you're right. The media is the main cause of it. I want to start at the back here. This looks this looks loads more fun. I want to start at the back, chat. This looks loads more fun. They're just trying to sweat it with the top five boys. This looks more fun back here, doesn't it? Lots of Corvettes. But yeah, the amount of petrol stations is crazy. But, um, we seem to be fine where we are, no issues. It's like the great toilet paper in the 2020. Let me tell you, honestly. Oh! 
What? <laughs> I was about to say something, and then every everyone just went in the pits. Are we sure it's? Are we sure it's six six? <laughs> surely, surely eight laps on the softs is too much, right? That's that. That is way too much. Surely. That's got to be too much. How much is fuel now in England? Um, <laughs> it depends what um, fuel you use. So whether you use like um, uh, 99 or like 97. Or at 95. Um, I I try and go for 99 wherever I can. Um, Tesco has 99. It's it's one pound 39.9 a litre. So it's basically one pound 40 a litre in the UK right now. So that's about average for the for the good stuff. For like your yeah, bang average supermarket, you're you're looking about one pound 30 a litre. In like the America, in America or the Americas, or whatever, um, it's ridiculously cheaper. I believe. So I don't know how once you, once you calculate the pound to dollar, and then because I don't, I believe in America you don't pay for it via per litre, do you? You pay pay for it in gallons. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. You have to excuse my ignorance. I've never been, so I don't know. Yeah, so that if you work it out, also <laughs> I found this out through iRacing as well that that the UK gallon and the American gallon is different. Don't don't ask me how, but it is. It, it, there generally is a difference between the UK and American gallons, which is weird. So free, so just under three dollars a gallon. Um, so that probably equivalent to about two pound fifty. Um, so £2.50 in America for four litres. Um, four litres here, you're probably looking at about six quid. So there's a huge price up on fuel here compared to uh, in America. Massive difference. Our oh, gallon is based on the size of a cowboy hat. <laughs> Uh, no, and I, 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 there was a there was a thing about us going back to a crazy um, units of measurement, but that, I don't think that's going to happen. Used to play per gallon in the UK when I started driving. Damn. Here we go. This should be some. We should have some fun now. Should I just not set a qualifying time for this. Tommy's up next. I say he's up next. We we'll overtake him so we don't finish last. Cheeky little look up the inside there. Hey, right. hey, Grandpa's pace as well. How's it going, everyone? Thanks for joining. Just ignore the eight next to my position. Surely I've got this. 
I've got to have this Porsche now. Man. There we go. 87 octane. The cheapest you've seen is $4 a gun, 87 octane. 87? That's got to be crap, isn't it? 87 octane, what are you doing with that? The lowest we sell in the UK is 95. Oh, they use different measurements to measure octane levels. Right, roger that. I was going to say, sorry. Sorry, boys. <laughs> I just saw that. I was like, what? I'm learning and I'm driving. <laughs> what are you meant to do with it? Drink it, right? But in the lawnmower, ah, fair. Good shout. <laughs> Never get these, um... Oh, God, Terry! Drifting, boy. I can never get these corners right. And even when you do, it doesn't feel quite right, you know? Feels weird playing GT Sport as well for the first time in like two weeks. I feel like I'm really having to turn the steering wheel, you know? Cash with 1.6 seconds off PR on fire. Eh. Cash. Got endurance this weekend. Oh, ride or fly. Yes, we do. We have an absolute corker. It's iRacing's yearly Petit Le Mans this weekend, my guy. It's going to be good. Should be uh, full of mayhem. So it's a 10 hour race at Road Atlanta. So she should be a beauty. Me, Carl and Josh, uh, I believe. No, oh, thank you. Back in the Porsche GTE, so I love that car. I think you guys do as well. Three laps less left when we cross the line. Should be having quite the advantage from these guys. What time does it start? 1 p.m. 1 p.m. UK time, so 1 p.m. BST, I believe. Ah. Oh. Oh, that sucks, mate. I feel like GT Sport is OG Ollie. It is! It is! It is, Nick. It is. But, you know, uh, a couple of months ago, I think I put it on YouTube, I said, I'm only going to play GT Sport when I enjoy it, you know? Oh, lucky, Jay. That sucks. Um, that didn't sound sincere at all, genuinely. <laughs> Sorry, mate. It genuinely does suck for you. Um, I, I, I posted on YouTube you know, a couple of week, weeks or a couple of months ago. I'm only really going to play this, this game when I fancy it, you know? Um, I didn't play it last week. I was going to do FIA, but then my stream went bang. Um, I'm only going to play it if I enjoy it, you know? I'm going to force myself... Like, don't get me wrong, GT Sport is OG Ollie and it always will be. And when GT7 comes out, there'll be tons of it, loads of it. I'm only going to play this game when I, when I um, you know, feel like I want to. Um, always been guilty of, you know, I think any YouTuber really is just guilty of looking at the numbers. And going, oh, I really need to stream this game tonight, even though I don't want to. Um, and I was that guy for a little bit. And I don't want to be that guy anymore, you know? But, yeah, this race, this combo, like I said, it's Group 3, Daily Race C. Um, and it's got, you know, it's got different tyre combinations, half decent track, you know. All adds to the pot. It makes me want to play it.
Evening, Martius. Evening, sir. You do you, hun, exactly, Daniel. And that I shall. My, um, my mindset as well, I've completely, completely changed my mindset on this game in terms of, you know, having to spend hours and hours before the stream, you know, doing qualifying times, make sure I'm right up there, you know, with some of the best. Um, just, just not, just trying to chill out a little bit more on it, just enjoy it more, rather than think of myself, I didn't get any good results that stream, I'll have to get it on the next one. This one's not gone to plan, but I've, I've enjoyed it. Plus, I like talking to you guys, so... One good thing about GT Sport, actually, is... It's very easy to drive and talk, I find, compared to iRacing. I feel like on iRacing, I really have to concentrate. Whereas this one, I can kind of just... Almost use muscle memory, in a way. Just to keep me going. Fun stop, stop. Absolutely. You've been watching a few better adverts, haven't you? <laughs> they always pop up with that. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to uh, change change tactic on what car we use. I enjoy using this car, but the tyre wear is not great. Um, my laptop doesn't look great either. So. Hey, Lindsay. How are we doing? Get a bit spicy with these boys and girls up here. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying the fact I'm back on GT Sport and do the YouTube kind of sellout thing here, isn't? Please do hit the like button and uh, subscribe, maybe as well if you want to. Thanks very much. Use a Porsche Blue Racer. Too savage. Oh, that was too savage. Unfortunately, all these free cars here are quick in a straight line. Oh, bit of a rubbish result that one. That one. Nice last. Best of luck, mate. It's, it's last. It's last, ain't it? Oh, who put an <laughs> exclamation mark info for Christ's sake? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, dear, dear. I'm, I'm just going to have fun tonight, so I think what I might do is g genuinely just have a bit of fun. I might just um, start from the back. Just have to just have a laugh, you know. Hey, little Jimmy. Nice to see you, Mr. Fennell. How are you? I'm all good, thanks. I do well. Thanks for joining me. And my lads. Oh, I, I don't know why, little Jimmy, but... Your name, my first ever RuneScape account was called Purple Jimmy. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, every time you join me, I feel like you just remind me of my RuneScape account. <laughs> From back in there. Ollie, you forgot to shout out Mrs. For Mrs. Forza was in here? What the hell? Or was it Forza asking me to shout out Mrs. Forza? I miss it. Oh, Ollie, please say hello to my wife. She's watching uh, since I'm on my 4K this afternoon. Nice. Well, Mrs. Forza, let me tell you. Let me tell you about Forza when he joins our, our chat. He's, um, he's bloody nuisance. You're a bloody absolute champ for putting up with him, let me tell you, Mrs. Forza. You're a legend just for putting up with him. <laughs> Mrs. 
Ah, Josh is in the chat. Hello, mate. Hello, dude. Oh, come on, chat. Stop messing about. What car are we using? Come on. Get it sorted. Tell me what I'm using. Come on. Get those suggestions in the chat, please. Got a lot of the BRT lads in here. The fucking lads. Come on, what are we using? Come on. V12 Vantage. Boom. Straight away. The dude. The dude's come in. He came in with a R V. He came in first. He came in first, chap. The dude was just like, yeah, V12. Bang. See you later. So it's the V12. Don't. The best, the best thing as well, right? The best thing is, if it's rubbish, if the V12 is rubbish, you can all blame the dude. Don't blame me. Blame the dude. He said it first. You know? That's what happens when you pick. When you pick first and I pick it, if I don't do well, you're in trouble. You're in bloody trouble, the dude. Hey? Big old yeet, exactly. Big old yeet music. Because this is the genius thing about asking chat. This is what YouTubers and, and streamers and Twitchers don't tell you. If you ask the chat, right, and you do exactly what the chat says, and it doesn't work, you can blame it on chat. I can blame it on all of you. Well, I say all of you. I'll put it on the dude. <laughs> and he takes full responsibility. That, now, that is what a real dude does. Takes it on the chin. Takes it on the bloody chin, mate. Okay, right. Let's do it. You still rev the crap out of this thing? It's Sean's fault. Exclamation mark Sean in chat. Flying Spanner. Post delivery. Ah, lovely Flying Spanner. What, for what car? Lots of, lots of feck off Sean's in chat. Superb. Hey, you will. Bennett McLaren Race Engineers. Forza. You bust. <laughs> How day. Another BRT driver. It's bloody Kyle in the channel, mate. Bloody hell. All the BRT drivers in here. No, not looking for driver tips. They're just looking to see, looking to be. <laughs> I can't even speak. <laughs> I've completely lost my trailer for great streamer. Superb. Really good at what I do. I have to say. Bring on, bring on, bring on. Car noises. I have to give iRacing a break. <laughs> Man, people are getting stupid on there. God damn it. Mate, I, swear, I, swear, I, I would say this. I would say there's stupid drivers in every game you play, you know. There's always, there's always one. Little little hack, by the way. Should I say hack? It's not a hack at all. But if you want to start a lap here, get a good quality time or a good run, just start it here, boys. Look at this. There you go. Nyom. Oh, hands of the police chain there is will do after this, my guy. Now for a mind you know I'm rubbish. The MILF destroyer free would choose the jam. Why the jam? Is it a MILF destroying car, is it? So have a eat delivery for me, it's tagged. Ooh, like that. Thank you very much. Ollie missing a DD right now. You're not wrong, Forza. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I don't want to be one of those dickheads going, Oh, because I haven't got a DD, I'm not as quick. You know, all the false feedback isn't as strong. Therefore, I'm not as good as a driver. No, none of that. None of that, chat. Hmm. Ugh, I've got an itchy eye. Itchy eyeball. Jags are for fat and 40 times. Jesus, the dude! 
Watching, by the way, from the Philippines. Nice. Hello. I hope the Philippines is lovely. We've got behind us. The Dappers. I kind of... I kind of want to drop all the way back to the back. But I'm not going to. Now we're always in P14. Go on, boy. Ah, uh, we're gonna... Someone's disconnected. Is it gonna be me? Am I gonna disconnect? Am I gonna disconnect? I've got a feckin' massive head. Am I gonna disconnect? No! No. Someone did. Who was it? Who was it, chat? Who disconnected? Can I message? Oh, hang on. I can message before I say hi, YouTube. <laughs> Hi from Canada, hello. Disconnection is a lottery. Yeah, it's been extremely rubbish recently. As many a people have been um, moaning about it. OSR. OSR Doc Brown wears Super GT for fuck's sake. Am I not good enough? God damn it. Is myself Rory and Key not good enough for you, Doc Brown? We're just B we're we're B rated compared to Super GT, mate. Solid, we're C rated. He's he's SS, mate. We're not good enough for Doc Brown. God damn it. Ah, dear. I'm rocking. Oh, no, I remember John Prescott. I do know I remember John Prescott. Didn't he have something to do with, um... John Prescott wasn't the one that went on Top Gear, was he? And then he's the guy who introduced having a bus lane on the M4, I think. Hey, Ray! Right, let's get our ass kicked once more. Get sixth in his honour. Watch that. I'll do my best. I reckon the dude behind me, he's got socks on. The racing. Understand. That's big on the stamp. Didn't they? Or nylon in front of me. Just a little bit jumpy. Da -da -da. Hundred eight, hundred one likes. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for triple digits on the likes. No excuses while we can't get four billion likes tonight. Boy, oh, a bit of a nudge in the back there. Hey, that's cheeky, that. Grr. Son of a gun. Oh. Oh. Of 
cool to see someone in the Beamer. That's too late on the brakes, Ollie, it's hit. Come on, speed! What the hell's the I'm doing over there? Racing again. I think we're doing all right. I reckon there's going to be people on soft around us. I really wanted to take it. Lovely little move around the outside by Dappers. Hey, Henry. Hey, Smokey as well. I don't get a corner cut to take him inside too much. Seems to be okay. Oh, God, the understeer in this thing. What is it called? The scratch head when you got a hound? Hey, James. How's it going, dude? As I get there, I lose a slip. Okay. Not bit forceful, but we got it. Even pass. Limit of how much that inside curb will be taking. Again, I do wonder. Um, been around us on soft soil or mediums. Even Simon. We're not in the uh, suck of a uh, Jensen here. Is uh, Dapley just going to zoom right past us again on the straight, unfortunately? Line onto the pits. Oh, he's on mediums. Okay. So he's gonna, oh, he's got to be doing a double. No way he's going to do eight on the soft. Surely not. baby ah, 
Brown's going to be there. That was poor. Yeah, I missed it. I have to go in this lap. Was the old undercut and that wing's going to be too strong, I think. Yeah, he crashed. <laughs> nice, Lars. Oh. Nice move. Ah, it's just costing me time. I didn't want to lose. Ah. Uh, that's frustrating. Hey Pro Bullet, happy birthday mate! Lots of people in a bit. Pretty good, the entry. When did I start in this one? I can't remember. No idea. Can't remember. Oh, nice, Sarah. Nice to see you got your PS5. Awesome. God damn, I hate when the game. Literally up just you as you come out the pits. P6. Thank you, Andy. goes quick, very quick. Hi Kai, how's it going mate? I was like to send the Hey the brick. I'm struggling with understeer a lot. Oh yeah, back on it mate. It's a combo that's that's pretty cool. Like I've been saying throughout the stream, the group three, daily race C. Um, can't can't really go too far wrong with tire strategy as well, so it's a nice mix, you know. Oh god all for group one of the more. Just walk 
past my uh, lap and smoke any old devil's lettuce. That is, um, look at that. I'm suddenly get the munchies chatting, you know why. Uh, using the SM9. Just on the brick. position where I'm quicker than everyone behind me, but not as quick as the guys in front of me, which is quite frustrating. Now, the only advantage I've got on that lean here is that my laps, my tyres are a lap younger. But I don't have slip. Like overall the race pace has been better so far. I don't think I got the 37 once in the last two days. I'm not sure. I feel like 10 seconds off the lead after 10 laps is too bad. Will I use the jack? I might do. Hey, Joey. Hey, go on. Go on, Forza. What's a good laugh, mate? Front left is dying badly. That thing hasn't got a slip anymore. And he's definitely struggling with understeer through there. I think we're in the suck. With the Aston Martin.
and I thought so that's wrong. That's wrong, dude. Should be able to get uh, dappers here. Uh, surely my speed advantage is way too much. Defend from the little rascal. Yeah, front left is just screaming. Like that, did it? <laughs> right, that should do it. Yeah, my brake balance is zero, although I feel like I should have put it towards the rear because my front tyres are in a hell of a state. Shouldn't really matter though. Cross the line, P8. Yeah, I really know how I feel. I mean, I dropped back, so that's pretty crap, but. Now it's only 30, 13 seconds off my road. It's like, got like a 100,000 driver rating, so. You know, I don't know, it's weird, isn't it? It's a weird feeling. Right. Okay, there's a few livery repos I'm seeing in the chat. We'll definitely have to look at that. Yeah, that's a bit of a strange one, that. I've got to be honest. I don't know how I feel. Okay, let's have a look at some of the liveries. Definitely got to try Daily Race A this, at some point as well. Give that a good old try. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Our livery. Base golly. Let's have a look. Okay, what am I looking for? Um, oh, nice, nice, nice. I think I saw you post these in the Discords earlier. Nice, 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 nice. You got the M6. Um, Helix Ultra, that's nice as well. I like that. That is nice. What is this? Milf. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, for God. For God's sake! God damn, God damn it! Oh no! You know what? It's a shame. It's a shame. I'm never gonna drive this. But that is that is beautiful. Oh, that is absolutely. <laughs> Handler, you have done yourself proud there. You have done yourself proud. That's um, <laughs> that's quite good. Oh, look at the doggies! Thank you, mate. 
Love it. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. So I'm flying span. I saw your lamp there as well. You have to drive it. I I can't. Well, I, there's not a group one. I hate group one cars on this game. So um, unfortunately, we can't on this one. I want to have a bit of fun as well. I've got to be honest. I'm not really having too much fun. And the whole point of me just having some fun streaming this game is to have fun. You know, so I'm, I'm going to... Oh, don't you dare. Please, please, just please. Yay. I'm going to I'm gonna do some start from the back and have some fun, I think. Oh, system software update. Ooh la la. Ooh la la chat. Ah, uh, dear. I can't well, imagine if we had something like that for um, this weekend, Carl. Imagine, imagine if we were driving around in iRacing in a special 10-hour special event that only happens once a year, and on the side, it just it's just got MILF Destroyer written on the side of it. And I, th I reckon we'd we'd um we'd get our name out there pretty quickly. <laughs> People would go, oh, I know that team. Yeah, all the Mills Destroyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good lads they are. Uh, I don't really know what car to pick. Uh, I attempted to go with a Jag. Someone said a Jag earlier. Right, yeah, I'm going to go with a Jag. Uh, what's all that stuff behind me? It looks like reverse burger. Right, I'll tell you what it is. Hang on. I'll show you. I'll show you. It's the best way to do it, I think. Hang on. Right. So first things first, let me grab this uh, and I'll show you all this crap on my bed. Got my mouse down there. So this is my work laptop. I always just keep it. I don't know why that's, that's my work laptop. I just keep it on the bed. Obviously, this is where I work from as well. Work laptop. Mouse and phone for work laptop as well. Um, Box for my new keyboard that I've just got. Box for new mouse that I've just got. That's that. Well, keyboard, really, to be honest. That one there as well. I need to, I need to put this stuff in the loft. This is my, obviously, this is the DD that I just have on the bed. There you go. So that's the DD that I, I race with. Just replace it. As soon as we're off. Uh, and then there's just... There's a, no, there's a power bank for it, which is in the bed as well. And, um, screwdriver. And last but not least, this is just a little, this is just a little tripod uh, that you use for your phone. So if you do any like unboxing or anything like that, I got it for the DD unboxing, but I never used it. So you can use it as like a stand for when you record it, because mobile, the smartphones on mobile phones, especially on my one, are pretty damn bloody good these days. So, yeah. I, I do need to clear it, but it's just convenient because I'm always swapping between uh, different wheelbases and stuff like that, so it's just convenient to have it there, you know? Uh, hello, Day. Uh, Jamaican Racer. Hello, Jamaican Racer. I didn't destroy one. I Oh, sorry, Hans, I missed that. Yeah, I didn't destroy the previous keyboard in the end. I just broke the space bar, which is incredibly annoying. Oh, yeah. Why don't I get the feeling this is not going to put me in a race? I have a second tripod. I see what you did there, Tracy. I see, I see what you did there, Tracy. Hey, hey. <laughs> ah, it's fine, Forza. Hello, candidate. Candidate Salmon. Salmon. Well enough. <laughs> Reverse burglary. How did I break the space bar? Just got angry because my stream kept going wrong. <laughs> I don't know how it was just a space bar. I just threw it on the floor and then the space bar just didn't work. Everything else was wrong. Cool. Right, let's have some fun then, shall we?
Do I do you think GT7 will have VI? You mean VR? Um by VR then yes. Um but not not much better than what we've got now to be honest. Oh Addy, you caught the six hour, good stuff, thanks mate. Bit disappointed really with eight in the end, because um just just had loads of crap go our way in that one to be honest, but yeah. Still eighth in top split, you know. Now I, I've got to be honest, candidate. I don't know how I don't know how you guys feel about GT7, but the more news that comes out with GT7, I just I really do fear that it's just gonna be it's gonna be a GT Sport 2. You know, I don't know. We'll have to wait. I am worried. Don't get me wrong, I am worried for I'm worried and excited. I see what you did, Blimey Cable. I see what you did there. Now I I am kind I'm just I don't know. Like <sighs> Ever since um you know they they announced it was gonna be a max of twenty people online, like mm, No, that's not good, you know? And then you start to think to yourself, what other what other things are they are they limiting? You know, use a Porsche next time. I might. Well, I'm, I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do some daily race A after this one. I like to give it a try. I think daily race A would be cool. Hello, Doom guy. Yeah, Brandon. I kind of get that. Yeah. Oh, I. You know, online multiplayer is. Online multiplayer for me is what keeps you coming back, you know. And the competitiveness of racing pe other people online is what makes makes a game really appealing, you know. I might stay in this. One. I might stay in this field for this one. Got it. Yeah, uh, force on PS4 is crippled it. I don't. Uh, there are, there's a lot of theories that the game was always meant to become a PS4 and then they suddenly said Let, let's get it on the PS5 as well because it, it just got delayed and delayed and delayed and they just thought, you know what, we might as well just make it on PS5 now you know one of those I think I don't know what future DLC they make I don't, I don't know about future DLC, I've never seen Gran Turismo Ever make DLC apart from the Lewis Hamilton DLC? And, unless I'm wrong, can anyone quote me on that or, or challenge me on that? I think Lewis Hamilton DLC is the only DLC they've ever released, right? Someone's dead behind me. Proper dead. Oh, hello. I think a Lewis Hamilton DLC as well was... Um, although it, it might not have been the most... Um, it might not have been the craziest thing in the world. That the idea this seven time world champion, you know, was playing Gran Turismo Sport set in times, and then you could go against his times and try and be it and his ghost. I mean, that's, if you think about it, that's, that's pretty crazy, you know? How often do you get a game, you know, that gives you the opportunity to do that? Especially a console game. I don't know of any time, really. Rebel Trials. Ah, uh, Brandon, I think that was more of a sort of sponsorship deal or anything like that. Besides, it only lasted a week. And you could tell they never really put too much effort in it. Probably set a few laps and that was it. Feisty back here, boys. Come on, Jack.
Congratulations, 100. Congratulations to Lewis, 100 Grand Prix wins. I know he's watching. <laughs> Amazing. Nah, seriously, 100 is incredible. Hundred wins is incredible. I think it's fully deserved as well. I think people people are easy to hate on Lewis. They they'll just say, "Oh, it's because he's in the best car." Well, he's in the best car because he's the best driver. As simple as that. If he wasn't the best driver, he wouldn't be in the best car. Because what happens after a while? You get found out, and then you get changed to another team. I.e. Bottas, IMO. Called by Norris, yeah, it's a bit of a shame, really. Do you know, it's one of those calls, right? Where if he pulled that off, everyone said, Oh, what a genius! What a genius, you know. Um, it was such a tough call. Um, and you, you, you do think to yourself, It's only like what was it, five, three laps left? You just think 20 seconds, that's oh, 20 30 seconds, it's such a huge gamble, you know. But damn. Hey Alan, how's it going mate? Yeah, that's sort all of racing the journey. Hey Beetle man, how are the Beatles? 148 likes for 200 people watching. Thanks everyone, thanks for the likes. Appreciate you coming over here and watching. I know I haven't done it much. I haven't done much of GT Sport lately. And there's quite a few other people doing it at the moment as well. But yeah, it's, it's pretty mega you come over here, so uh, yeah. Appreciate it, thank you. I'll have that. Thank you very much. I like the vid because it's Ollie. I, like, I rate that, thank you. Was a yellow flag now, it's gone. Yeah, they could learn from it, Joey. What I would say as well, um, it, it, it's just it's that's where it, when you're in the lead car, it's so difficult to make that decision because if he right, if he pitted and it didn't work out right, and then he dropped down to P7, you know, just like he did for. Not petting. Well, you know, they would have. It would have been the same thing, you know. Why didn't he stay out? He had the lead. It was silly. You know, there's only a few laps left. What was the point? It was it honestly? As soon as that rain hit, it was like a lose-lose situation for them, you know. Old Jack. Lando win a race, of course he will. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, probably Addy, yeah. It was just a difficult decision to make, wasn't it? I think as well, ultimately, you know. Your your you know, you're the driver, you're the one who's driving the car, you make you make that decision in the end. It's going quite well this one. Yeah, if you look at the if you look at it as a whole, right? 
if you forget that Lambo qualified on pole, if you set McLaren, we're gonna get a P4 and a P7. You say that's a good, that's a good, it's a good weekend, isn't it? I don't know. I think with uh, Carlos finishing P3 as well, which by the way, no one's really covered that. It's a bit scandalous. That I don't know who got more points from the weekend. If McLaren got more or Ferrari actually. It's quite tight in the constructors for them, isn't it? Oh, is he going in the pits? Oh, uh -oh. he's going in the pits. Oh, I panicked and went in the pits because I thought he was going to go in. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> nice to do. Get it. Oh, Leclerc finished outside the top ten. Ah, okay. Yeah, McLaren would have got a bit. Watch out for them. Kind of almost disappointed with uh, um, Lewis and Max 1-2. Because, you know, Max was right at the back. And, um, you had obviously George Carlos and Lando in the top three. And you were kind of hoping, you know, it'd be definitely more of a mixed top three, but in the end it really wasn't, was it? Yeah, Max going up to P2 is crazy. It's not as crazy, I would say, as many people think it is, because, you know, it is Max, and that car is ridiculously quick, and you'd argue over, you'd argue over like, an hour of 40-minute race or whatever. That Red Bull can make up the difference. But I suppose doing it, completely different story, isn't it? Sliding into turf one. Okay, it's awesome, guys. Come on. Strange one, to be honest. The the bottas, the sun bottas attitude. That's you know. I don't think he can like. He can be very proud of what he's done at Mercedes and you know how many constructions they've achieved. But individually, as a driver, I think he's just been like four seasons in a row just could be completely shown up um, by Hamilton. And I don't really think you can blame Mercedes too much for wanting to try, try um, a driver who's got, you know, P2, P3 qualifying in a Williams, you know? And they could be too mad about that. I didn't really see, I'll be honest with you, Fools, I didn't really see it, to be honest. 
I've only seen clips of the race. I was out watching my team get battered by wolves. Well, we didn't get battered, it was just a stupid mistake that cost us the win. I mean the draw. It was just so stupid. Stupid defending. I don't know how Bednarek got pushed out so easy there. Frustrating game. Maybe the power of the drag will put me back in it. Coming back. Back in it, baby. Going across the Fenna inside line. I see a front with a legendary team to the front. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that is true. Ferrari, McLaren, Williams, old school. <laughs> Hello, fatty mate. Eight months a member. Awesome, buddy. Thanks for being a member for so long. How's it going, mate? Oh, I'm fighting behind, aren't I? Come on, Tarzan. Yum. You go, you go, you go. Go on, hurry up. Hurry up. Try and be a good guy here, let you go. Take care, Forza. Hey, Bernios. How's it going, my guy? <laughs> very British, yeah. I always feel bad if I um, make contact with someone. If it's for a move, and then they're kind of struggling. Kind of, you know, let them back or hold off. Right, more reversal it is going to happen, I think. Uh, it does last, yeah, you've got to use softer mediums, but faster strat is definitely, uh... oh, okay. Just a one stop, mediums to softs. Not a boy. 
Have I just hit grass or have I just been curb glitched? Is that even a thing here? That was weird. That was weird. I wasn't punted, was I? What the hell? Honestly, I don't. I don't even. Know. That felt like a curb glitch to me. I felt absolutely fine, and that happened. That was so weird. Well, that was frustrating. We went from P13 to P1st. P1st? P1, I just don't <laughs> P1st. Come on. You ready? Yeah, we'll watch the replay 100%. That's just a bit weird, wouldn't it, chat? I don't know what happened there. I want to say... Because I've been over the curb like that. You know, we've done like... You know, this is race 4 out of 4 now, I think. Oh! Oh, <laughs> you definitely break too late there. I've hit that plenty of times. Thank you, Fatty. Thank you for all nice night to take Chloe out for the $50 dono from Saturday night. Now, how it works, Fatty, is um, if you ever do a dono on YouTube, I don't get it. I don't get it for another two months, if that makes sense. So what happens, say if you donated, say if you do this, this £5 donation, this five, $5 donation, what it will do, it will count, it'll then at the end of the month calculate how much I've been given or, or whatever you want to call it, and then I will get that at the end of next month. So it's always like a month behind. So I'm afraid I haven't, but I'll keep you posted. I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna be very impressed. Piani, Piani, and that's annoying. Saw some amazing cars this weekend, says Brian. Blue modern uh, Le Mans 4 GT, nice 80s Le Mans Porsche, Lempi car. F4 International GT Cars. That sounds awesome, man. That sounds awesome, Brian. What an absolute F that was in the end. Yeah, we'll have to have a look at that. I think what, the thing is, when you watch replay, whatever angle I show, I think it's just going to look like it's... I don't think it's... It's impossible in a way to prove that is a glitch as such, I think. I don't know. Eighth place in Jaguar. Oh, that was race number three, wasn't it? Okay, let's have a look at this then. We've got, we've got the Bathurst race to do as well, so we've got to make sure we get back before 9 o'clock. Oh, nice. That's good you're still getting DR, the racer. Yeah, that's right, Superman. Oh, re have I really just wasted 30 seconds of my life to win a bloody pixelated <laughs> Suzuki? Jesus. Oh, no. God damn it. Ah! Press anything wrong here.
Okay. Uh, what lap was it on? Was it lap 10? Was it 11? I remember. Uh, where's my phone? Uh, yeah. Look at the time. Please. Make sure I don't miss it. Did That was just fire got a glitch too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, here we go. Is that... what the... I think... is it this little... I, I get the feeling... I know it sounds silly... Hey Joe. I think it's this little white little twatty thing here i think it's this i don't know what it is i think this is not coded correctly maybe because as soon as i touch this as soon as i touch it or go well i haven't touched i've actually gone as soon as, soon as my rear goes near that bang hmm. i think i think there's something to do with that i think there's something that, that can't be a coincidence, right? It's the only little patch on that white square, and as soon as I go anywhere near it, my car spins out. I'd have a look. Ooh, Voodoo Blue. Very nice. I will, I will look at it in more detail, but otherwise we'll miss this race. Unfortunately. Is there a dip there? I don't think so. Contact time zero. <laughs> Contact zero X. Uh, classic. Yeah, I've got another uh, eye raising stream tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Um, I don't even know where, where is ESS this week. Where is ESS next week? I actually have no idea. I have no idea where ESS. Is. Um, what ra I don't know what the races are next week. Oh, I can't drag it over either. Let me just quickly. See if I can find out for you. Bear with me. Uh, what have we got next? So, tomorrow's stream. What have we got race-wise? Uh, we've got Road Atlanta. That's good practice. That's very good practice, actually. Or um, Petit Le Mans. So, we've got Road Atlanta. And what's the hour race as well? The hour race. Ooh. Um, we have got Interlagos. Ooh, cool. We want an hour race at Interlagos. There's Interlagos on Road Atlanta tomorrow. Take care, Spanner. I like. I wish I could find a way to incorporate the um, the i racing streams to be a little bit longer on Tuesday and Thursday. Some a little bit earlier, make it a little bit longer. But um, yeah, it's just a bit whack how they work in terms of how long you have to wait per race. Can't really fit it all in. Uh, no, Brazil, we were there for VRS, but that was um, end of last season. Wasn't it? I suppose it's technically week three of the next season, so probably been a month. Okay, right. This should be... Very stupid, but very fun at the same time. Because we are in a big old pickup. Yoda. And, uh, oh, we've got Blue Racer in here. Hello, mate. And Jensen. So, yeah, we're in a big old pickup around Bathurst. All things. So, this is, um, you know, the idea of this is a bit crazy. But, you know, should be fun, right? What could possibly go wrong? This race is just peak Gran Turismo. <laughs> I like that. 183 likes, 210 people watching. If we can get... If we can get to 200 likes, chat. 200 likes. Before the race starts. I will tell Sean to feck off. 
Sean's not here, but I believe that's worth it. I believe that's worth it. Then, yeah, no, appreciate um, the likes already. That's 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 pretty mega, you know. Thanks very much. Right. I tell you what. What about each like? Each like equals one extra ram. There we go. One extra punt. Because there will be plenty of punting in this chat. There will be many, many punts. 207. Boom. Amazing. It's amazing. Like, I love it that it just goes like that. 210 now. Wow, really? Lots of people want to tell Sean to feck off. <laughs> I'll have to message him. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many people want to tell you to feck off, Sean. <laughs> oh, dear. Easy. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> This is... <laughs> Peak Gran Turismo, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, goodness me! Right, here we go. Yeehaw! I don't know why I've done the American accent there, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> sorry! Oh, 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 oh! No, no, oh, no, no! Oh, it's all... <laughs> One's gone! Oh, wow! Four wide up the hill! I, already, this is immediately my favourite race. This is superb. I've only done one corner. Oh, oh, surely he's going to punt him. No? Oh, nice drive in there. Full cats. Yeah, racing hard tyres as well. Extra grippage, yo. Oh, that's a classic! Classic takeout manoeuvre there. Superb stuff. Up to P6 now, boys and girls. <laughs> the grip you've got is... is to, <laughs> to be honest with you, going up the mountain and going through the mountain at Bathurst, doing 110 in a pickup is quite ridiculous, but also brilliant. Oh, don't change down gear too early. Those lines, bro. Good thing about these things as well, using this view, you can actually see the apex 12 billion years before it appears. Fun fact. Right, Oliver versus Olive. Oh yeah, fifth gear. Calm down a little bit now. Oh! Do you want to get GT Sport just for this? <laughs> well, for eight pounds, it might be worth it for this week. Whatever, it, whatever the price for GT Sport is, these only two laps. Oh, look at this! Look at the switchback right there. Only two laps. Only two laps. Are you are you taking the mick? What is that? Two laps! Oh god, Gran Turismo, what are you doing? Two laps! That is shambolic, that is. Jeez. This is this is so this is a lot of fun as well. Oh. Well, that's that's really annoying. Oof. Yeah. 
weight transfer is huge down there. So you've got to be careful on the brakes because the rear just... Right, we've got to make sure we have a good, good run on Olive here. And I didn't really get one, if anything. They got a better exit than I did. Can't pan this wang, can you? No, wang's too big. Oh, what a shame, though. I get, I would get, if this, if this race was two laps right, but the race was every 10 minutes, I'd probably get it. But isn't it like every 20 minutes? Oh god, he's really not had a good time there. Across the line, P4. I'm not even sure where we started. River Outmore. Isn't this a diesel? Should I technically be shifting at like 4,000 RPM? Surely like peak torque is like at 4,000 RPM rather than maxing, it, maxing out the gears, no? Slipstreams don't exist in these trucks yet. <laughs> yeah, it's just, even though it carves through the air itself, it's not really going to make a difference in these things. Yeah, well, I know, Sparks. What a shame, mate. Honestly, what a shame. How to how to ruin a race by Gran Turismo. How to make the perfect combination, which is just so much fun, and then just <laughs> stick your middle finger, stick the middle finger at you as well. <sighs> See. What well, honestly, so now there's not another one for 10 minutes. V8 petrol, okay. Doesn't say, I, I thought it was like a V8 diesel rather than a petrol. It doesn't sound very grunty at all, does it? 24 hour race in a tundra. <laughs> so, make some, should I do some sort of charity event where we do 24 hours on GT Sport in a pickup? <laughs> no, don't. That's not, that's not, don't, don't take that idea because that's, no. Not gonna happen, I'm afraid. <laughs> That's not that is not gonna happen, I'm afraid. Oh dear. Needs five laps minimum. It just So that one started at nine. And the next one's at twenty past nine. So there is a ten minute break between them. Ten minute doesn't sound a lot, but a ten minute break for a two lap race kinda sucks. 24 hour race against the MILF Destroyer. Well, the problem with that is, Oliver, that bloody... We've not heard from the MILF Destroyer. Has anyone seen the MILF Destroyer in the lobby? Has anyone seen them? You know? I haven't, I haven't seen him since the video. I haven't seen him pop up anywhere else. Check liveries for the RCZ. Yeah, we'll have a quick look. See if I can find it. Five minutes playing, ten minutes waiting, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Oh well. Okay, so this is the RCZ. Oh, you got a Louis Vuitton? Oh la la, I think... I'm, I'm not, um... I'm not Gucci enough for this. <laughs> I am not Gucci enough for this. Mate, have you seen me? Like, do I look like a man who would buy Louis Vuitton? <laughs> do I look like a man who would buy Louis Vuitton? <laughs> Laughed at him so hard it ended his career. <laughs> uh, do you think? Do you think that? Do you do you think he would have seen it, chat? Do you think he would have seen it? The MILF Destroyer. I did kind of put his gamer tag in the thumbnail. So you, you would hope, wouldn't you? You'd hope he would have seen it. 
Um, but, yeah. And Quinton at the top. <laughs> you know what I like about this? I like the idea that Quinton, right, one of the very best on this game, one of the very best, right, has gone, that daily race A, I I'm going to qualify. <laughs> I'm going to get P1 on that. <laughs> uh, dear, I love that. Also, right, can we take, can we just take a moment to talk about William's B race and how he's not actually a human being? Because he's actually in the top 10 in a BMW M3 for daily race C. Is he just taking the piss? Like, how's someone that good? Please. Impl someone please explain it to me. How are you that good that you get an M3 in the top 10? How'd you do that? You know? Like how? Someone please. It's just, he's just not, just not human. It's just not human. I don't even know if you do like a, if you did a perfect lap with the M3, I still don't know if it's, I still don't think he could get that time, but he's done it. He's done it, the absolute mad lad. I might set a qualifying time just so um, we don't start from the back, we might be able to win a race. Yeah, might do some qualifying. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, the tundra. Oh, Tony Tundra. <laughs> Who have we got? We've got six minutes till the next one. Oh, where's my keyboard? <laughs> Tony Tundra. Oh, keyboard. A oh, bloody, bloody keyboard's not working, Jack. Come on. Right, as soon as I, I'll have a quickly, just a quickly look at this. Hey! Keyboard. That must be fair. Okay. Cool, right, I am going to do a few laps. I don't know, so what do we need to get really to be competitive? Oh, I don't know if we can get a 232 and copy. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Maybe like a, I don't know, 234 or something. Because funnily enough, I don't really drive trucks too much, you know? Right. I wasn't the only one there. Even San, uh, Sando, Arnold, and Will. Thanks for joining. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? My wheel did not do anything. Hey, Mr. Assassin. That was weird. Right, it's working now. I think it's because I may have entered with a PlayStation controller, maybe. Why is the screen like that? What's going on? Is it split screen? Screen glitch. Oh! Oh, hello! What's <laughs> What's going on here then? Hang on, hang on. I'll fix this. Uh, it's because I opened stupid bloody... Hang on. The screen glitch. The screen glitch. Let me change that. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. There we go. Cool. Because I opened something by accident. Right, I actually want to set a time here, if you wouldn't mind. Should be okay now. What did I say? 234 is what we're aiming for. Screen's not split, it's fine now. 
Got it boxed down in fourth, didn't it? Bit of chunder steer. Yeah, it would have been better to drive this thing. Well, this thing would have been more enjoyable to drive in the Bathurst 1000 car. There's no doubt about that. It's so easy to drive this thing. Actually, Jet see what it looks like in. What's the. <laughs> yes! Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> Look at the size of her. Not as wide as I expect. It's not as wide as I thought it would be, you know? Brake bias to the front. Was that a thing? I see one in person. No, not yet. Not in the UK, mate. Not really. I was a second off, considering the mistake I made as well, going through, uh, going down the hill. Taking off what I was trying to get. Three seconds off top ten or whatever it is. Good luck passing this race. Well, Mr. Assassin, we managed to get past a few people in the last one. Yeah, height wise, it's massive, but, uh, you know, width, it's not actually as. I didn't think. I think it's as wide as I expected. fan of the news. Thank you, mate. Thanks for joining, buddy. And, uh, yeah, thanks for the kind words. Thank you. I can barely run out second. God. Better get Jurassic Park livery. Classic. Well, what else does it do? Other views we got for this bad boy. Oh, that's high up, isn't it? <laughs> that looks weird. Oh, Baby. Oh. Show them curves. <laughs> B7 now. Oof. Oof. We could actually spark near as well. Then um, see if we can get ourselves a podium this time. Super common here in the middle SSC, 10 every day. Oh, wow. I hope Milf the Shore is freezing the next one. One day we'll find him. I don't know about that, Jacob. Take care, dude. <laughs> this is anorexic compared to Nikki. Very, very good point. <laughs> hey, Wolfie. How's it going, mate? How's it going, buddy? Oh, drivers like you ruin this game. Cool cats, apparently. They goof says to me, crack. Crack cocaine? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't understand. 
Um, sorry. Hey, Jeff. Nice to have you in, mate. Hopefully, they make a, a Tundra diesel. It'll be one of the best trucks in the Western market. I don't know. I honestly, my, my knowledge on trucks is non existent, really, here. We don't really care for them too much. Uh, in the UK. Or Europe, really, I don't think. I don't, I, what's the. Um, excuse my ignorance, but what is the big thing about trucks that everyone likes? What's, why, why do people love trucks so much? I feel like they're they're big, bad on fuel. Um, you know, generally you can only fit two people in the front, and then it's just got all this space in the back. But you know, anyone can steal stuff from the back of it at any time. Is that or is that is that just very British of me to say that? Mark, I don't, I don't, I, I, I'm just, you know. As someone who's never understood it before, I'd just like to know. It's a feel of being in a big old truck. Good in Canada, lots of construction work shoes. Oh, I can see I can see the appeal. I can see the appeal there. But then I would just say don't you want to get a van where all your equipment's like kind of safe? Instead of having it, you know, so everyone can see. Probably have to store more in a van as well. Every time you use a truck if you're towing. I can see the benefit in that. Fans of the football clubs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sparks is dead. Ripperoni. Oh, SCR. Oh! God damn it. It's, these things are so big. I had nowhere to go to avoid that. As soon as he crashed, that was it. I was going nowhere. I was, I was gone with him. I had to slam the brakes on there to try and avoid it, and that was just, yeah, I was going nowhere. Ah, oh, I want a podium, goddammit. We go and roll free wide here. Oh no, maybe not. All right, come on, Scott. Prost. 76. Been nudged off. Oh, that was a that was a wishful rejoin. I gotta be honest by myself there. I can't rev this thing anymore because it just it won't let me. come out of an electric truck. 70 grand for a truck is standard. What? That's insane. 70 grand for a car where half the back is missing. <laughs> Mental. I suppose there's a reason why the Ford F-150 is the best-selling truck. Isn't there, isn't there a stat where, like, Ford sell one every 11 seconds or something? I mean, that's crazy. I'm not sure if they're even available in the UK. 
This guy is pretty good. Okay. Don't know where you can get a 40k brand new one unless it's used. That's, do you know what that's strange as well? Because I was, like, obviously in America, I imagine there's just millions upon millions upon millions of pickup trucks. Yet they hold their value so well. Strange. Oh, shit. Oh dear. Scott, <laughs> Scott, I rate the lines, bro. Hey, Les. Oh, he's got a second penalty. I can get within a second here. I'm going to get P5, baby. Oh no, I've cocked it. Oh, he's cocked it as well. Excellent. Double cocking. <laughs> Double cocking by the Brits means I'm going to get a P4. Yes. Superb stuff. P5, top five in the end there, chat. A Texas edition of the Ford F-150. What the hell does that mean? Please tell me what the Texas edition of the Ford F-150 has over the standard F-150. What's it got? Has it just got NASCAR written down the whole side of it? You know? Cowboy hats? I don't know. I'm trying to think of some really typical stereotype stuff here. Big horn. <laughs> it's got a massive horn. It has guns attached. <laughs> Straight piped. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, dear. Brown leather. So is it genuine when you say horns on the front? Is that genu genuinely a thing? It weighs 150 pounds more because everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> Oh dear. I kind of want to look this up. I kind of want to look this up. Hang on. Right. Uh, is this genuinely a thing? I, re I, I really hope it is. Right, hang on. Texas edition board. Oh, it is as well. It pops up straight away. <laughs> what features are included in the Texas edition? Oh, look, there's a forum on it. Oh, yes. I live in Texas, but currently living... Well, I'm from Texas, currently living in Washington. I just ordered a, a 4x4 Super Crew with EcoBoost in the gloss black. I've seen photos of the Texas Edition F-150s, but it isn't an option when I try to build one on, tr on the Ford's website. Can anyone with Texas Edition tell me what comes with a package? Ooh, la la. Ooh. It's a dealer special passage, uh, package. It basically gives you a package deal of options, just like any other truck, but a little bit cheaper. That's it. Uh, you're not missing much, uh, but a badge. If you still want those, uh, go make a Ford buy them off eBay. Um, oh, I think it's just the XLT package, the Chrome package, and a special badge. You get a special badge. What, the front or what? You want one, I have two. Mad. So, there we go. So, Ford said um, consistent pr uh, primary of exterior styling accents includes a, a chrome bare style grill. What's a bare style grill? Chrome door handles. That sounds awful. A chrome plated exhaust tip and a chrome front tow hooks on the 4x4 models. I was expecting something to do more related to Texas, you know. That just sounds like kind of standard stuff. It's not like a, you know. I don't think anyone will go, oh, that's the Texas edition of it. You know, unless it's got something on the side of it that's clearly related to Texas, you know. <laughs> Disappointed. No guns, no animal skeletons on it. What a letdown. <laughs> oh, dear. Texas must love the chrome. Honestly, in the description, it's just, you just get loads of chrome. Loads of chrome. It's really strange. Everyone will be interested in, in uh, electric trucks as gas prices uh, continue to boom. Well, to be honest with you, it's going to be a long while until I think America catches up with 
petrol prices here in the UK and Europe. I don't know how you guys would react, you know, if you were paying our prices already. I don't know how, how would you, in Americans, if you don't mind me asking, how would you feel if you were paying, you know, one pound forty, or let's say, so one pound forty liter in America, probably like one one dollar seventy for a liter of fuel. So let's say six seven dollars a gallon. Uh, how would you feel? You know, that would that's that's you know. I don't, <laughs> I imagine you'd be kicking up a fuss, right? Because I just don't think it's ever been anywhere near that. Uh, in America, I assume. Texas edition badge. Ooh. I don't know how different that would look. What kind of car would I get for that kind of money? What, for 70 grand? Uh, well, $70,000. That probably equivalent to about £55,000. Uh, uh, if it's in budget... Uh, if it's in budget, I'd probably like to get a, a Jag F-Type, um, a Jag F-Type um, V8, but I wouldn't mind the, the V6 supercharged, you know? I think a Jag F-Type would be, that'd be pretty mega. Or like a Mercedes A45, maybe? That would be nice. That that would be really nice. I would I would say BMW M4, maybe, but I think the front grille kind of puts me off it too much. You know? Hello, Podium. Holly Nation, baby. How's it going, mate? Electric, electric infrastructure is cheap and easy. Isn't there a big thing about electric as well? I know it's the way forward, but with electric, is about how you actually get those batteries. You know? I remember an episode of Top Gear when people... When um, they were all slating the... Um, uh, Oh, I can't believe what it's I've completely forgot what it's called now. Toyota. Uh, I've completely what it is. I, I forgot what it's called. It's really, really annoying me. Electric car, one of the first ones um, Toyota's made. Prius. That's it, Prius. Um, it was like, that. oh, you know, it's the future and it's a battery and all this kind of stuff. And it was like, yes, but then the battery has to get mined from China and then shipped over on a, like one of these big containers. And then by the time it actually gets to the UK or wherever, then that, that one car has individually produced more um, CO2 or whatever than a Range Rover would in 100,000 miles. Because it has to, the battery has to be specifically mined and then shipped over in one of these containers. And then by the time it's actually here, you know, that, so much, that eco stuff is completely useless, you know. I, I, I don't know, but that, I, rem, I just remember watching a... It was an old Top Gear episode, many, many, many years ago. Because people used to rave about the Prius. And they said, well, actually, if you look at it, you know, um, it's, it's, it's worse to try buying one. Uh, it's worse for the environment <laughs> buying one before you've even driven it, you know? But, uh, yeah. I don't know, how have we even gotten to that, anyways? I can't even remember. The Cadillac electric car sold in 18 minutes when it came out. I always find it weird when I find it weird when cars sell out. Because you, you just think they just make an order like a massive. Like, I just wouldn't have a, like a. I don't think I have an option where you'd you'd sell it out. You just you know you'd say well you, this this is how long it's going to take. Do you want to keep it yes or no kind of thing. I think as soon as you just put a sold out option on it, then it's just going to stop people buying it, isn't it? Clearly. I am doing this race podium, yeah? Third time. Thanks for sitting here. Honestly, Carl, you probably know a lot more about this than I do, but dude. But just just um just from what from what I've watched, you know. Yeah, you have a shopping bag for life. A special light bulb, you can drive a five litre <laughs> five litre there. <laughs> oh dear. I think it's always funny how they like um they always push about how you should you know do what you can for the environment and stuff it's always it's always pushed on you know us you know the individual rather than these big companies you know and what they should be doing wrong you know we're the ones that have to all switch to electric and you know do all these things try and help the environment i just i, I, I think it was in the uk there was like a survey and so it's like 84 percent of the world's pollution 
is made from big from the big companies and not actually from you know you and I just working from home or you know going about our normal business but you know at the 16% you know we've got to make all the difference and sacrifices for it because the big companies don't really do much at all I lived, oh I get, okay that's a good point Rob, so if they make them limited edition or only a certain amount can be made then it makes it more, makes it more pricey. Oh, that makes sense, yeah, if there's only a certain amount then they become more valuable, won't they? Yeah, it makes sense. There you go, yeah, you got me on that one Rob, good point. Yeah, we can we can all definitely make more of an effort, 100%. Come to the environment, there's no doubt about that. And we talked about how the fucking hell we got onto this. <laughs> I have no idea. We're talking about big old trucks. Oh, I've got to be careful with that rear end, mate. Anyways, let's, let's not go on about it too much because it, it, it starts to get political then and we don't want to talk about that kind of crap. As soon as you bring politics into a stream, game over. It, it just turns into chaos. Pretty fun about hype stream. <laughs> uh, I was going to use her as a meme in one video once. It's like a green screen. I think that was a. That was, I think I, I planned to use it in a video, right? It's where I got punted by like two, three people in one race, and then she just appears out of nowhere, going, "Nobody cares." And I was just, <laughs> I was going to use it, and I thought I shouldn't really do that. <laughs> oh god. Now, I don't think it would have gone too well. Oh yes, I've improved like four temps, baby. I think the real reason we're not actually getting a good time at the moment is because obviously, clearly, we're not on the Texas edition of the Ford uh, Tundra. That's where we're going wrong, chat. A big old ugly dashboard as well. I'm not a fan of the dash. Massive wing mirrors. Size of those buggers. Excuse me. <laughs> it's fine, Carl. Oh, here we go. We've got a truck off. Oh, the YouTubers, Spacey Collie and the Key. I don't why why I have to ask Key why why I know Key for Kieran I assume but why twenty five why twenty five what what does anyone know what's the uh, oh it's Karen Justice in P eleven as well is she gonna deliver some justice. He's going to take me out. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, he was 25 when he started the name. Ah, fair. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> racing suit and gloves in the Tundra. Yeah, why? Come on. Like, who, who doesn't drive their Tundra in their racing outfit? Just be stupid not to, wouldn't it, really? Born in 1925. 
<laughs> oh damn, he looks good. He looks good for his age. Damien says time to die. Well, that's encouraging. That's nice. And he's in P12 as well. Right. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. This is a YouTube. Sh this is the YouTube race you've all wanted to see. It's Ollie versus Key, round two. Got this view. See ya. Oh, Key's got a great start there. And I've got the inside line. Oh, it's... <laughs> it's all kicking off already. Come on. the key you've got to find the key to pass there we go this is real racing now boys I <laughs> keep bumping him <laughs> oh dear First, first person to win this race gets a Texas edition uh, Ford F-150. That's why everyone's doing it. Right. Is anyone going to die coming down the hill? No deaths. Oh, little coming together there. Oh god, this is stupid, but I love it. I so wanted to go for the send there. <laughs> Alright, drop P9. Come on! Come on, Tundra! Questionable racing line there. No! <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God, sorry! <laughs> I thought I was going to kill someone then. Come on, I've got to break Scott. I'm going to half take a penalty. I've got to, I've got to do everything I can now. Send! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Sorry! <laughs> oh, this half second is going to feel like tell. Going to feel like ten seconds. Oh, that's awful! Oh no! Okay. There we go. Go through that. Have to go for a desperate lunch at some point, aren't we? I think. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to fucking send it. <laughs> oh, 
I can't do it. There's no space. Even if I wanted to send this, there's no space anywhere. God, there's just no <laughs> There's nowhere. I should have read that out a bit more. Oh, it bogs down. <laughs> Might have to go for a bit of an OP strat here. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. No! Damn it! God damn it. Done, done over there. Still beat Karen though, right? <laughs> oh dear. Listen, I'm in a pickup truck. You know, I've got to try it. Again, I needed that Texas edition. No time penalty for the last corner cut, no. The first one, yes. Second one, no. Absolutely fine. Doesn't care. <laughs> Who cares? Key 25 is the superior American, it's true. 237 likes, 205 people watching. Thanks very much. Um, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> oh, dear. Superb stuff there. What a race. That was, um, thrilling. Oh dear. Well, there's not another one for another 11 minutes. So I, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the stream there. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed um, being myself being back on GT Sport. Um, it's, been a, it's been an emotional, emotional stream. There's been highs and there's been lows. There's been, there's been lots of talk about stuff I didn't think we'd talk about, but I have enjoyed it nonetheless. So I hope you guys did as well. If you did, please leave a like on the way out, subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, I'll catch you for next week's GT Sports stream. But remember, tomorrow we've got a iRacing stream, multi-class multi -class racing stream for you tomorrow. And on Thursday, we also have a iRacing stream for VRS. And on the weekend, we've got 10 hours of Petit Le Mans at Road Atlanta uh, with uh, Kyle and um, Josh. So uh, fingers crossed. Um, we'll see you there for, for that one as well. But thanks for joining me, everyone. Uh, take care. Have a lovely rest of your week. And uh, fingers crossed. Um, See me, you'll see me tomorrow. Also, I've updated the members list. Hurrah! So, um, you should be at the end of this uh, on this outro. But uh, take care. Ta da! Da da! Da da! Go on, Ducky. Yeah, baby. Oh, you shake that thing, Ducky. Yeah, boy! Oh, yes! Love it. Love it, baby. Thank you, members. Thank you, Ducky, for another stream. It's been emotional. See you all tomorrow. Oh, Ducky, don't go. Stay. Stay, Ducky. You just get a little bit smaller. Yeah.